Hello and welcome at this series about Sitecore basics. In this video, we're going to look at the experience editor. So the experience editor can be found on the launch pad. And when you click on the experience editor button, you will be redirected to the homepage of the very first site that the experience editor is finding. This is one way of accessing the experience editor, but I find myself often use the other way, which is uh, found in the content editor. What I can do is browse to a certain site, select a page and then go to the publish tab and click the experience editor button and it will open this specific page in the experience editor. Now as you can see this page is empty, I even don't have a header or footer, um, but things that you can do here is create YC Wig um, your different pages and the experience editor is good and convenient for creating more visual pages that should attract and convert people. So when you have to deal with large amounts of pages and content and set up your site structure, you find yourself uh, quicker using the content editor. But if you are a marketer and you have to create some stunning landing pages with personalization rules or A-B testing, you will use the experience editor. Things that you can do are selecting so-called placeholders. These are places that look like this, some kind of grid or pattern. Um, on which you can add components and then you will click the add here button and choose a certain component um, and components are called renderings but we will cover the basics of components in another video um, things that you can also do are changing how this one looks so I can for example select the navigation bar and it will give me a, some kind of site structure in a different look and feel so I can click this button here and as you can see it allows me to browse to the site which is empty um, but I can also um, click on this little icon here the arrow icon underneath home and it will show me the different pages and when I select this page and I say go it will take me to the page one. So it's possible to browse through your site um, within the experience editor. So more details are going to be explained in different videos when we're covering different topics.